Well, welcome to the ladies' room. I'm here talking with my friend Dee Dee Lyons, who I'm so happy to have back with us. And she has just done a workshop, a workshop on gratitude, and Thanksgiving is next week. So we thought we would talk about gratitude today and all of the wonderful things we have to be grateful for. I'm grateful to have you as a friend, Dee Dee. Oh, and I love I'm you so, very much. I'm so grateful to be little, back here on your show, Judy. A love fest. Yes. So gratitude. So in your gratitude workshop, um, give me a refresher course on this workshop. Okay. The Feel Good Express is a lifestyle program where I balance out mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. And I empower people with the tools they need to release worry, doubt, frustration, and then attract what they need, whether it's new, more romance, a new job, more playtime. I empower them with that. But the key thing that I'm doing is I'm working on the inside beauty. Mm. So, the, and then the outside beauty will take care of itself. It's that inside stuff that's, it's like the vase, you're up to here with yeah. worry, doubt, frustration. As you lower it, and keep lowering it and releasing your worries and your doubts, all this joy comes in. Yeah. You have to close one door for another one to open. Exactly. You have to give something out for something to be able to fill. Because right. it fills the void. Yes. It leaves a vacuum. Yeah. So, and you have, um, you recommend journaling and meditating and... You have yeah. all these tools that you give people to. Yeah, I love. I have a lot of tools, but one of the th one of the ones I love the most is journaling. Then, of course, meditating, yeah. and m the mirror work that I recommend. So, tell us about the mirror work. The mirror work is actually really fun. You know, because my husband always says, "Are these tools fun?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah, they are." Do you remember this? Oh, no. When we were kids, what is it? Uh, I don't it's know a spider that. doing push-ups on a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, so we do we do that on the mirror? Oh, I love it. <laughs> push-ups on a mirror. Well, this so is a little different. Okay, the mirroring is done in the morning, uh -huh. and it's after you get out of the shower. You don't have to do it right after you get out of the shower, but I recommend it then. Naked. Right. <laughs> And when you get in the mirror, it's so intimate and so special uh -huh. to go into the mirror and tell yourself what you're grateful for yourself about. So I'll get in the mirror and go, I love you, Dee Dee. You are so fun and so lovable. I just love everything about you. And then, of course, I start cracking up because you have to really feel yeah. it. And you see yourself, you know, half out of the shower. You might have a shower cap with a couple of rollers <laughs> underneath or whatever it is. No how matter you how you look, Dee Dee, I love you so Right. Much. It's good to do it then. <clears throat> and that creates intimacy with yourself. And it also helps you to feel better about yourself and raises sure. your self-esteem. Sure. Sure. Affirmations. You know, those constant positive affirmations really do help. And, and they kind of keep you out of the devil's workshop. Right. It's like your mind can't be in two places at one time. So while you're like worrying about, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, and what about this, and that one did that. Instead, you're thinking like, oh, I love my day, I love my house, I love my dog, look at my little kittens. Exactly. Oh, they're not going to be sick today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they don't get sick. Um, Anyway, the Feel Good Express is a wonderful thing. And how often do you, now you're going to Florida for the winter. Yes. You're a snowbird now. I know. You're Baby lucky. boomer snowbird. Are you grateful for that? <laughs> very, very grateful. Yeah. My husband and I, we've been doing it for two years, six months in Florida and six months here. Perfect. So grateful for that whole experience. Do you have pets? No, we had a beautiful pets. pet for 16 yeah. and a half years, Aww. but right now it would be hard, you yeah. know, because we travel a lot more than we used to because we have grandsons in California, yeah. so we have to get out there two or three times a year, and yeah, but we don't have pets. That's what holds us back because we have the three cats and a dog. And All right. we've, we've in the past always even had more pets than that, so we're kind of winding down, except for the two new kittens. And I said, it's a 20-year commitment, Jennifer, please, no, no more pets. She's like, please, mom, because we had to put one of our cats to sleep. She was 20. Aww. I know, it was so sad. So we went to ARF, and uh, Jennifer's uh, theory was, 
let's get a black kitten because I wear mostly black and then when the cat lays on my clothes, the hair won't show. So we went to get this black kitten and then there was a teeny, teeny little black kitten in the back of a cage. And I said, what's the story with that little kitten? And they said, well, he's a feral cat. He just came in today. He's very antisocial. He's scared of everything. And I thought, that cat doesn't have a chance. We'll take that one, too. So we got both of them. This one was two months older and a mush ball. So she immediately wrapped her arm around his neck and started licking his ears. And he's doing so well. They're so cute. They're so cute. I'm so grateful that I have them. Yeah. I'm like Edie Beal. You know the Beals, Little Edie and Big Edie uh -huh. with all the cats? Right. I now understand. <laughs> <laughs> I lay on the bed playing with the cats every night. Aww. So let's get back to you in the Feel Good Express. Um, so um, you, you're writing articles now for Sun and Surf magazine? In yes, Florida? I am. And I'm so blessed and grateful to have this experience. It just came about because there's a couple that has a magazine, and I knew them pr prior, and actually the corporate world when I was in broadcast and marketing. Mm -hmm. And they have a magazine that they put out quarterly. And they said, hey, Dee Dee, why don't you try doing a Feel Good Express article? And we, we need you know articles for our magazine. So I did one. That was a year and a half ago, and then another one. So now I'm be writing my sixth article right. next week. Right. And it's really fun for me because and I feel like all the articles are going to build up and maybe turn into turn another into book. book. Yes. Another book. Let's. Can we get this? I, did you ask Geraldine to get this book on camera? Yes. The Joy of Tweeting. Mm-hmm. Tell everybody how this started. Well, this book was my transition from left brain to right brain uh -huh. from 32 years of broadcast sales and marketing into my new phase of the Feel Good Express, photographing nature, coming up with a feel good quote of the day. You can see it on Twitter. It's like the perfect life, Dee Dee. <laughs> what a way to spend your day. Yes, yeah, so I, all these wonderful things. Yeah, I didn't know that I had, you know, these gifts, yeah. photography yeah. and writing. Photographs and, are beautiful. Thank you. So it's fun for me, and I put it on Twitter, and my goal is to have people just see that beautiful you picture and tweet feel good. every day? Five days a week. Five days mm -hmm. a week. I take Does the weekends ever, off. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> and for your inner child. Right, exactly. Um, does it ever like kind of stress you out like, oh, what am I going to write today? Or does it just come to you? Do you kind of meditate first and then see what floats into your mind? Yeah, or I scroll that... through photos because I'm constantly taking photos. Mm -hmm. And then I go to where I'm feeling that, that moment. And then I'll look at the photo and start thinking. Like I did one today that had this beautiful path on the beach. And it was at the bird sanctuary, the Morton, and I took it uh -huh. a week ago. So all the fall and, colors. Yeah. And it was about, I said something along the lines as there's this beautiful path that's carved out for, for just you. So when you're on it, your heart will feel it. So just stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and that's like a triple entendre, isn't it? Because we all are on our own path. Yeah. It's... Um, I read an article recently about uh, women traveling alone. Now a lot of women are traveling alone. Right. And uh, this one woman was saying that she drove from New York to Alaska. And the, uh, another woman said, by yourself. And the woman said, no, with myself. Oh. And um, it's interesting. When you have a very rich spiritual um, relationship with yourself, Mm -hmm. You really never feel alone. Like, I'm always like, it's me and you, God. You know, whatever label you right. want to give it. Exactly. It's me and you, nature, or it's mm -hmm. me and you, universe. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the conduit for the universe to experience itself, you know? Right. And when I get into that place, whether I'm swimming in my pool or walking on a nature path, I don't feel alone. I feel like I'm experiencing it with my other half, I guess, or yes. my co-creator. Which is a beautiful thing, Judy. And that brings me to one of the most important relationships I talk about in my classes is the relationship you have with yourself is the most important. So if you have that self-love that you're talking about, you don't feel alone because you're taking care of that. And so when you do want love and look outside for that love or that soulmate or partner, that partner is the icing on the cake. Yeah. 
the sprinkles, the right, because you already <clears throat> took care of filling yourself up with feeling good. Right, and when you're whole, when you're 100% and you meet another person that's 100%, you have 200%. Yes. Really probably even more, right? right. Because then it spawns mm -hmm. even more. Yeah. But if you're a little bit empty, like 75% maybe a little down on yourself about certain regrets or whatever that mm -hmm. you should have let go of, <laughs> right. and this person maybe has the same thing, you wind up with 150, and it, and it and it takes away from 150 percent. It takes away from both. Right. It 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 right. Um, it's a drag on a relationship. It's, it's a drain. Yes. Instead of being a right. a, a spark. A spark. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting how it all works. Yes, it is. But, yeah, but you just you just are brimming with happiness all the time. <laughs> The Feel Good Express is working for you, baby. <laughs> so are you going to give Feel Good Express uh, classes in Florida when you go there? Yes. You yes. are. And, you know, I love, um, an, I did them here at Ananda Yoga. Oh, how was that? Yeah. yeah. And it was great. Love Mary Bufo, who's the owner of it. She a, is a doll. Isn't I she great? I love on the show again. She was just yeah. a, a, such a special And her new treat. space is right over above La Carreza on Southampton, because uh -huh, she used cool. to be yeah. where Citarella is. Yeah. And it's a beautiful space. <clears throat> and I love doing yoga there, too, because mm -hmm. they have great classes. Mm -hmm. So I did it there. And then in West Palm Beach, I started before I left last May to do classes at Bee Organics, which is now called The Bee. So that's another place oh, that's that has cute. yoga, too. So I, those, I like being, when I do them out in the public, I like doing it at a yoga center because you do. Well, those people are already headed in that direction. Right, exactly. Yeah. And what I, I also do them in people's homes, and that's kind of where I started. Uh -huh. And there's a little bit of a different dynamic later, because when I do them at the, at the yoga centers, it's more people that really don't know each other. A couple right. of people will know yeah. each other. But when I do it in someone's home, it's usually the person that hosts the event has their family, their sister, lots of their girlfriends. Right. So it, the dynamic later is that the residual effect is stronger because they check in with each other. Okay, are you doing your worry and doubt papers? Are you doing your gratitude list? So they help each other out, that kind of a thing. But they're both wonderful experiences. And one of these things that you teach people in your Feel Good Express workshops is their own gratitude gifts. Yes. Tell me about oh, that. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so I started doing it only maybe three or four seminars ago, and I actually, it was in Florida. And the gifts, because I used to have people write their gratitude list, and they would say, you know, I'm grateful for my health, my family, my job, that kind of stuff. So I shifted it to being grateful for your own personal gifts. So I said to everybody, okay, I want you to write down at least three. You can make the list as long as you want. We do it for about three or four minutes. The gifts that you are proud of, because I want people to own them. So people write them down. And, you know, so at the end of that, I go, oh, so does everybody feel good? You know, because the things I do is mm -hmm. to keep raising your vibration level, whether it's aromatherapy or a hug or all the tools that I give people to use. So one woman goes, actually, I don't. I feel uncomfortable. And then another woman chimed in, yeah, me too. Like self-conscious about Yes, but they thought it was to. bragging to write something, like to say, I'm a wonderful teacher, I'm a good yeah. mother, I'm lovable, I'm approachable, but you know, the gifts that you have. So people were getting, and I was so grateful that she expressed Made that. Made you aware of that, the, those inner right, so that I'm they thinking, really need to release. Right, they need to put <coughs> those things down and own them because that's a big thing for me to help people yeah. find their gift and then own it and become it. So and release their fear about yeah. And it's not bragging at all because yeah. you know I tell them when they shine, everybody shines. Yeah, because yeah. it's your movie. You're creating it. So yeah, yeah. So um, you're going to be teaching at the at the uh, yoga. Yeah, the, the bee. The bee. bee. Yeah, December 11th. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it'll be a feel-good express. Yeah, and I'm going to make it more about releasing the 
um, tension that you have around the holidays and de-stressing. I had it like de-stressing with Dee Dee at the <laughs> Feel Good Express. Dee Dee. <coughs> de-stress with Dee Dee. Dee Dee Doer. You, you, you said that people call you Dee Dee Doer? Oh, yeah, Dee Dee Doer. So, is, that, is that an old nickname or is that a fairly new nickname? Well, it's, it's, it was been around maybe about 10 years because I was always in do mode yeah. and not in be mode enough and always with the to-do list and getting things done. I always used to, I remember my first email when I got to uh, work at News Channel 5 where I worked and I was in, you know, in management new there and I wanted to get something done right away. So I said, hey guys, let's do this and let's get it in the done column by 5 p.m. So one of the managers came and said, oh, I like that done column thing. Uh, <laughs> Is that a New York thing? But, you know, so that's always how I've been, like very um, aimed and the Sagittarius with the arrow pointing, where am I going next? But yeah. now I'm incorporating more, even though I meditated, I think I meditated with a to-do list too. <laughs> But I am more right brain than I've ever been. And yeah. nature has you do that. Meditation has you do that. Like really stay in the present moment and be mindful yeah. as much as I can because I'm teaching that. And you teach what you need to learn yourself. True. And it is all about finding the balance between the right and the left brain. Yes. You know, because that they're meant to work together. Exactly. Yeah, the, the left brain is just really meant to just bring back information to the subconscious so that it can function in this reality. Yes. So, it, And if the left brain keeps having worrying thoughts like, oh my God, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this right. happens? What if that happens? You're feeding your subconscious misinformation and then you get chaos in your life. Yes. So by teaching the left brain to say positive things like, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to yes. work out fine. And it's good to have a to-do list because it just organizes it and you yes. can check it off and release it. Right. They say you can do a thousand things in your mind or do it once. Mm -hmm. you no, know, you can yeah. go over it and over and over in your head yes. or you can just do it. Right. And doing it, like you said, I love having a to-do list, but yeah. are you obsessing about your to-do list or are you just doing it and then crossing yeah. things out as Cross they go off. along it's done. It's done. as it's opposed done. to obsessing? So now I know how to, like, okay, I got most of those things done today. I'll get Yay. the rest done tomorrow. Yep. Then you make the new list. Yeah. For the next day. Carry, I hate the carryovers, but yeah. sometimes you can't get it all done. So now, what your, your three hugs a day diet. <laughs> What's that? So my three hugs <clears throat> a day diet, and my husband sometimes says, is that a diet? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a diet meaning Exercise. that every, meaning that every yeah. day. Like people think, yeah. oh, I'm on a diet. They don't, sometimes you could be on a nutritional diet, you yeah. know, or you could be on a forgiveness diet. So this is three hugs, and I recommend hugging at least three people every day, at least. If you want to hug five or ten, that's totally fine because that giving and receiving is so uh -huh. important, and obviously I love. And take your time in that hug. Yes. Really feel it. Exactly. Have a heart exchange. Yes. Yeah. Heart, you hit on it, Judy, yeah. because I have the experiment in my class where we hug right to right, and then we hug left to left, so the hearts touch, so people can feel the difference. The difference. Most people do. You feel yeah. a little spark in that connection. And hugging is great for the giver and the receiver. Both people benefit equally, Absolutely. which is a beautiful thing. And it's also important to get touched every day. So if you get to the end of the day and you only gave out two hugs, then what do you do? Then you're in trouble with Dee Dee. Oh, you <laughs> hug yourself. Yes. Or I always say run down and hug your doorman, but a lot of people oh, don't no. live in high-rise buildings. So. Hug your dog. Right. But, but hugging is hug good. Yourself. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. I was it's so good to touch yourself, too. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. so often, you, yeah. I don't know, because your skin right. feels nice Yay. and it's soft and you need to appreciate yourself. Yeah, that's why people yeah. love massages. I love those, too. I hardly ever do it, but I do love it. So do you journal every day? And is it like a diary, or do you just write one or two sentences, or do you tend to like I, write everything that happened during um, the day? I go through periods. Like I was yeah. just away, so I was on a plane on Thursday, and I was on a plane last night. So it was great. So when I'm up in the clouds, I feel like I'm very close to 
the angels in the mm -hmm. middle of the universe. So I loved writing then. So I wrote a lot on the two plane rides. That's cool. And then um, I, I don't write every single day, but sometimes I need just to go in and write because something's building and I'm getting you know frustrated or concerned or whatever. So I write it out. <clears throat> so I do it. Uh, I yeah, use it a lot. Sometimes stuff rolls around in your head and you just know it wants to get out. Yes. It makes you write it. Yes. Especially if you're, it. you're obsessing, yeah. it's the best time to do it, yeah. yeah. And I think of it as my friend. Like I, I say, meditating is getting to really know your soul and that inner space of silence that we all have, like that strong foundation. And then journaling feels more like I'm talking to my best friend and telling and them all are, the, yeah. yeah, telling them all the good, talking to me, right, my best friend. And then um, me, my mouth, and I. I get that's Joy, Joy Behar's new book. Me, or her, I think she's doing a one-man show on Broadway. Me, my mouth, and I. <laughs> I so love funny. that. Yeah. Me, my mouth, and I. Good. <laughs> yeah. So, so you pretty much do it every day. Yeah. Very but I, bad at it. Well, you know what? There are days where I'll go. Oh my yeah. God! I haven't journaled in the last two or three days. Mm. But it's. I never want to make anything a chore for anybody. But sometimes when you're in the throes of something, you're grieving or you know, you're know you going through a transition, you're changing jobs, changing locations, start writing, because that's all stirring, you know, all the unfamiliar things that might be coming up. I have to thank you for um, alerting me to the 21-day meditation with Oprah and Deepak oh, Chopra. good. Yeah, that's really a wonderful thing. Have you been doing it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm usually about <clears throat> two or three days behind. So today is day 15, and uh -huh. I just finished day 12. So okay. I'll catch up. But I, I love it. quite a bunch. But because um, they're on for like five, right. five days. So yeah. you can back up and catch up a little bit. Yeah. The first ones are gone already. But there's a whole week left to go. Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I love it because, like, some people rather not listen that way and just go into their own little meditation, yeah. which I love to do too. But when they come out with their 21 days, this is the fourth one I've done. And what I love about it is you get Oprah's wisdom, then you get Deepak's wisdom, and then you, and they give you like a centering thought to yes. really focus in and on. And then the, the Sanskrit. Um, Right. Mantra yes. that means yes. what it is that you're focusing on. Yeah, I've done the focus one. I've done the manifestation one. Yes, I've done the deepest desire one, but I've only done three so far out of the fifteen. But I hope to catch up. Yeah, but it is, and it goes very quickly. It's what twenty-two minutes. Or yes, minutes, exactly. But it goes so quickly. I think it's it ten seems, minutes of talking and then twelve of meditating oh, or whatever. It's but it's really a great thing. Yeah, I send it out to all my followers, so it's great. So, um, de-stressing tips you're going to give in your next Feel Good Express? Yeah. De-stressing and the holidays and feeling overwhelmed and feeling pulled in different directions and feeling like you're not going to get it all done. Pull back. Take deep breaths often. Often. Often during the day. Then also think about receiving because you're in this giving, giving, giving mode and throwing a dinner party or going to a party, giving gifts, shopping and all. So yeah. receiving is real important. And just try to feel the joy. Sometimes it might be just giving somebody a hug or a smile at Christmas time that makes people feel good or during you know Thanksgiving time when people are in that mode. The other thing I recommend is to buy yourself a gift. Oh, interesting. Yeah, treat <clears throat> yourself. I'm I would... a Gemini, so I usually, I'm like, okay, one for her, one for me, <laughs> one for him, okay, one for me. Okay, you're doing that. So you're, you know, feeling that gift. Yeah. Give yourself a gift. Obviously, meditate. But a lot of people say, oh, next four weeks, I'm not going to be meditating. I'm going to be overeating. I'm going to be, you know, stressed out. Don't plan to be stressed out. Plan to, to enjoy really it. enjoy it. And we all have the should. Take in the love. Yeah. Thanksgiving's the best holiday because you don't have to think about gifts. You maybe, right. you know, if you're cooking the dinner, you have to cook a lot. But if you're going to, now my nephew's taken over the dinner, so it's great. I did it for over 20 oh, years. Oh, that's So nice. I make my acorn squash dish and... 
Easy as pie, acorn yeah. squash, cheddar cheese on top, some breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. And right. uh, it, no, no gifts to worry about, and everybody's happy and yeah. sharing all the experiences exactly. of the year. Thanksgiving, we have so much to be grateful for here. Yeah, We live in the most beautiful place. It looks like this all the time out here. What a beautiful painting. Oh, thank you. That's Michael McDowell, my darling husband. Um, and... Uh, we, it's just a wonderful thing. This is a gratitude rock. Yes. And some lady in Florida makes these. Yes. And it's I had it on my cool. desk all the years that I was working there. And it was so, so a reminder for me to be grateful. To so be it's grateful. a paperweight. We she need goes on the beach and to gets these rocks. live in a state of gratitude all the time because yes. you have to already have it in here before it can be out here. Exactly. So give thanks. Praise. Just yes. be happy and enjoy life and it will all work out. Yes. Yeah. Gratitude attracts abundance for sure. Gratitude attracts abundance. Well, listen, it was great to have you here again. Come back again. All tan from Absolutely. Florida. Absolutely. We leave this week, right? Yeah, or next week? December 7th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And thank you for joining us in the ladies' room. And ladies, re remember to give yourself lots of room, room for love, room for fun, room to grow. We have to keep growing, keep thirst for knowledge, and room to glow because that's what makes you glow, love and fun and knowledge. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.